Hello students, today we will discuss about the gastrointestinal agents. As you all know, these gastrointestinal agents are part of the pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. So first of all, let us discuss briefly what is the pharmaceutical chemistry. Now, pharmaceutical chemistry is a science that makes use of the general laws of the chemistry to study drugs and their, their preparation, chemical nature, composition, structure, influence on an organism and studies the physical and chemical properties of drugs, the methods of quality control and the conditions of their usage. In other words, it is the chemistry of drugs. Important aspects of the pharmaceutical chemistry. It includes the various method for isolation, purification, characterization, medically active agents and the material from the natural sources. It includes the various synthesis of medicinal agents that could not be obtained from the natural origin or the synthetic duplication due to reasons of economy, purity and the adequate supply of the substances obtained from natural sources. It includes the various synthetic methods by which natural substances are converted into products with more favorable therapeutic or pharmaceutical properties. It includes the determination of the derivatives or the forms of the beneficial agents which shows a optimum medicinal activity. Now we, are, we will discuss about the inorganic chemistry. Now what is the inorganic pharmaceutical chemistry? In inorganic pharmaceutical chemistry, it is a science that makes use the laws of the chemistry to study the inorganic substances as the drugs that is their preparation chemical nature composition structure influence on an organism and etc let us discuss about the today's topic that is gastrointestinal agents first of all we have to discuss about the digestive system and the gastrointestinal tract which is a group of organs in gastrointestinal tract there are many organs and it extends from the esophagus to anus main portions include the stomach the small intestine and in small intestine there are three parts one is duodenum then jejunum and ileum the large intestine contains and three parts that is cecum ascending transverse and descending columns and the rectum with the exit anus. In stomach, digestion of the proteins in acidic medium takes place with pepsin enzyme. Both the hydrochloric acid and the enzymes are secreted in the stomach by specialized cells. Small intestine In small intestine, digestion of the proteins take place in alkaline medium in the presence of enzymes. Digestion of the carbohydrates and the lipids takes place here. Absorption of digested foods, vitamins and minerals take place. Now, we will discuss about the undesirable conditions of the gastrointestinal tract. There are many undesirable conditions. Among them, first of all is inadequate secretion of the acid take place in the stomach. This causes the achlorhydria or it can be termed as hypochlorhydria. Excess secretion of acid takes place in the stomach. This is, this, this is called the imbalance of acid enzyme ratio and leading to hyperacidity and ulcers. Gastric and sometimes duodenal wall become sensitive giving rise to acute pain. There are many another in unavoidable, uh, undesirable conditions. There may occur the accumulation of the toxic gases and substances. There may occur inadequate absorption of the fluids and minerals from large intestine, thereby causing diarrhea. 
there may occur insufficient peristaltic movement of large intestine thereby causing the constipation there may occur the inadequate secretion of saliva thereby making the food to swallow with difficulty abnormalities due to the ingestion of the poisonous substances accidentally or intentionally now what are the different inorganic gastrointestinal agents there are four types of inorganic gastrointestinal agents first of all is acidifiers then antacids then cathartics then antimicrobials now what are the acidifying agents or the acidifiers acidifiers are the drugs which are able to increase the acidity in gastrointestinal tract some of these drugs are used to increase the metabolic acidosis some of these drugs are used to increase the gastric hydrochloric acid mainly there are four types of acidifiers first one is gastric acidifiers then urinary acidifiers then systemic acidifiers and the acids these acids are used as pharmaceutical aids let us discuss about the gastric acidifiers gastric acidifiers are the drugs which are able to increase the acidity in git some of the drugs are used to increase the metabolic acidosis whereas some of these increase the gastric hydrochloric acid these are the drugs which are able to restore temporarily the acidity of the stomach in patients suffering from achlorhydria or hypochlorhydria then another second topic is urinary acidifiers these are the drugs which are used to render acidic urine to enable treatment of some types of urinary tract disorders systemic acidifiers these are the drugs able to neutralize the alkaline body fluids particularly blood in patients who are suffering from the systemic alkalosis as i already said that the acids these are the pharmaceutical aids in the preparation laboratory co- laboratory quality control and etc now our first drug among the acidifier group that is dilute hydrochloric acid it contains 10% weight by weight of hydrochloric acid solution an ingredients of this formulation is hydrochloric acid with purified water and it is prepared by adding hydrochloric acid gradually to water and by mixing up it is a colorless liquid and strongly acidic and it specific gravity is 1.04 to 1.05 for the identification neutralization reaction is performed it gives reaction which are characteristic of chlorides when it it is mixed with the kmno4 solution chlorine gas is liberated to test the purity it, it has to be tested for as heavy metals bromide iodide sulfate and the free chlorine to perform the assay about 10 mg of the hydrochloric acid is transferred to a stopper flask which is having 40 ml of water then solution is titrated with one normal sodium hydroxide using methyl orange as an indicator and the reaction is NaOH plus HCl it gives NaCl salt and water to calculate the amount of the hydrogen chloride there is a formula that is the one normal NaOH is equivalent to 0.03646 g of hydrogen chloride it is used as acidifiers and should be stored in a well closed container then our topic is ammonium chloride it is another acidifying agent and solution of ammonium chloride mildly acidic and its synonym is sal ammoniac it is a white solid hygroscopic in nature odorless 
having the melting point 338 degrees celsius and freely soluble in water and glycerol sparingly soluble in alcohol ammonium chloride is prepared through the solve process and the reaction includes carbon dioxide is reacted with the ammonia and in the presence of sodium chloride it gives the ammonium chloride along with the sodium carbonate salt but it is commercially prepared by combining ammonia with either hydrogen chloride gas or hydrochloric acid that is the water solution of the hydrogen chloride reactions given by the ammonium chloride are discussed here we can ammonium chloride appears to sublime upon heating but actually decomposes into ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas ammonium chloride reacts with strong base like sodium hydroxide to release ammonia gas and the reaction is mentioned here ammonium chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide and it is produced produ it produces sodium chloride salt similarly it reacts with the alkali metal carbonates here we can see the example is given that is sodium carbonate when ammonium chloride is react with sodium carbonate it produces sodium chloride along with the carbon dioxide gas and ammonia to perform the assay of ammonium chloride one gram of the ammonium chloride is dissolved in 20 ml of water then a mixture of 5 ml formaldehyde solution with few drops of phen phenolphthalein is added after 1 to 2 minute titrate slowly with 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution to calculate the amount of ammonium chloride one using a formula that is the one molar sodium hydroxide is equivalent to 53.49 ng of ammonium chloride